Welcome back everybody. We are on our way to Dr. Leo's for our uh, bee workshop this weekend, but look how beautiful it is out here in southern Missouri. I love all the hills and the trees. It is just gorgeous out here. But uh, yeah, we are down on our way down to southern Missouri where we'll be staying for tonight and tomorrow night for two days of learning everything that we can about beekeeping and a uh, little mini vacation for me and Katie. that he was carrying in the box on his horse because he was so absent-minded he opens the box and it's empty and he's there and asking Alice okay what could we do with an empty box and he answers the question well let's put the empty box up in the tree so we can catch some honeybee swarms right there <laughs> imagine so something that children you know, now we've completely lost so my wife was skeptical about us uh, uh, catching bees here uh, or at least she didn't know what the success rate would be but we put it on this tree and lo and behold, three weeks later, my daughter was riding her fox trotting horse on these trails through the woods. And she comes back home saying, Daddy, there is a, it looks like there are bees in your box. And lo and behold, there was a swarm there. We put it down into a hive under the tree and this is where it all started. So we went from zero hives to 40 hives in maybe three or four years without buying any bees. At that time, I was not even splitting or doing artificial swarming for my hive just catching swarms not all of them survived but still the survival rate was much much better than uh, through commercial bees so when i open the hive you stand behind the uh, hive or not in front of the entrance and uh, so when i open it uh, this is how i would see the bees in the spring too i have that pillow that i have not yet removed after the winter and i put the palms of my hands on the top bars and you can come and put yours here and you feel you will feel instantly whether this colony is rearing any brood just put your hand here do you feel it how warm it is yeah so because the bees need to elevate temperature in the brood chamber to 95 degrees it really feels much warmer here than just any part of the wood on the outside of the hive you will see that the wire is starting to be here you release it and while it's still hot you can press on some of the parts where it did not and you are done and see how neatly it embedded. It literally looks like stitches. <laughs> okay, we are headed back for day two of our beekeeping workshop. Yesterday was so good. Right, honey? Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, Dr. Leo is really, really awesome. He's just a wealth of knowledge. <clears throat> he uh, has obviously, this has been his passion for so long that he just, he, he, he just has so much uh, info so much research there's no way 
that we could share it all with you. You, If you're interested in beekeeping, or if you're already beekeeping, uh, but you're doing it in a way that is just a lot of work and you're not very happy doing it, uh, you should totally check him out at horizontalhives.com. Um, there, there is a way to keep bees and to do it that isn't a ton of work, that's good for nature, it's good for you, um, where you get lots of honey and uh, without a lot of work. So anyways, we are headed back for the second day and uh, we will give you a short recap when we're done. And uh, what we will talk about now applies both to horizontal and vertical hives. And it also applies to commercial bees. So if you already have a package of bees coming or if this is what you have in your existing hive, these principles that we'll cover in the next 45 minutes will help you keep even the commercial bees much healthier uh, with no treatments um, than uh, you would be able to otherwise. So that means in order to be able to develop local bees, you need two things. Either isolation, being away in the mountain valley or somewhere where there are no beekeepers around you for miles and miles and miles around, so that uh, the only bees you work with and all of the mating happens only with the local bees. And this is unfortunately not feasible in many parts of the country. Another option is to convert other beekeepers around you into your faith. <laughs> and thankfully this is starting to happen in many parts of the country. Okay, so we are on our way home. It was a great weekend. Dr. Leo is amazing. He has so much knowledge. Uh, too much for me to share. Um, and uh, he is totally worth it if you're uh, interested in beekeeping or uh, just learning a different way of doing things. Um, he, he is definitely, definitely worth it. So check him out, horizontalhives.com. We are excited to get home to the kids. Uh, we both have been missing them. Um, it'll be good to see all of our animals and our plants and everything else. And uh, get back to work on our homestead. We will definitely be implementing some horizontal hives and uh, some of the other knowledge that we uh, gained this weekend into our homestead in the future. Um, very intrigued by the natural beekeeping approach. And uh, I hope you guys all had a good weekend. And uh, God bless you guys. Until next time.